I've got three attempts to draft at least an 89 overall in Mutt Draft, but we can only see the stats. So of our first three cards of our first round, we can see that we've got a left end and two defensive tackles. We have no idea what their overall rating is, though. We're trying to get an 89 overall, so I guess we'll go with what seems to be the duplicative position here in defensive tackle. That's going to end up being a 92 overall Richard Seymour, which is great because Richard Seymour is actually six foot six, which is the first option of our bingo card as you can see right next to me and if i'm able to complete a bingo in this challenge i'll get to take off this just disgusting aaron Rodgers jersey i mean it literally looks like puke and vomit it's gross this was the punishment for my ai builds my team video i'm telling you guys my family and friends will never let me live this one down so we're going for an 89 overall we got 87 speed here in a right end that is crazy fast we've also got a left end with 87 speed better acceleration but better strength on this guy over here here i think we're gonna go with the left option here and as we reveal this guy it's gonna be javon curse 89 overall the freak so that's two cards down looks like we've got some offensive options now wide receivers running backs a quarterback oh that's very enticing 94 speed on one of these wide receivers 93 speed on the other wide receiver and 89 speed on the quarterback who's six foot two i feel like i gotta go with the 94 speed wide receiver on the right here this is gonna end up being terry McLaurin, a 90 overall, I will happily take him. And for one of our bingos to check off one of every single division in the top right there, we've already got three checked off. So I'd say that one we're on a roll for. <laughs> Round number four, it looks like we've got some more defense, a middle linebacker, right outside linebacker, and another middle linebacker. I don't want to only stare at speed. Maybe we'll take the one less speed and go with the guy on the left here. This is going to end up being an 88 overall Ray Nishki. Not a full legend, so we can't check that off our bingo card, unfortunately. And that crosses off the NFC North. We've got three free safeties here. And that's good because we haven't picked a free safety yet, but six foot one, five foot 11, five foot nine. Dude, this five foot 11 guy is super fast at 92 speed. He's got really good tackling. This feels like an obvious middle option to me. That's the one we're going to take. The card reveal is a 92 overall Miles Hartsfield from the Panthers. And that's another division crossed off our list. 92 overall, man. I'm super happy with that one. Next up, more D Defense. I feel like this has been an entirely defensive draft. Oh, I'm a little nervous about that 88 overall Ray Nitschke that we already took. Let's see. Middle linebacker, six foot four, 93 speed, 93 hit power on this guy on the right. Oh my God. And we're going to go with this guy on the right, the middle linebacker. 93 overall Isaiah Simmons. Oh my God. That's literally, I think, one of the best defensive cards we could have possibly pulled. And it crosses off our 93 plus from our bingo card and the NFC west we've already got six of the eight divisions let's go man we've already got both middle linebackers we can't really afford to take another one this one we've got a quarterback a tight end and a halfback a lot of options here the quarterback is six foot five with 94 throw power that could be josh allen at 86 speed tight end is six foot four with 86 speed 89 catching could that be like travis kelsey tj hawkinson maybe and our halfback has 90 speed which is pretty good but low trucking low acceleration low break tackle i'm not really like in the halfback. I think we got to go with the quarterback here. And it's going to be, my guess is Josh Allen. Holy crap, I'm so good. There's no way I just guessed that. Well, we got already got an AFC East team, so unfortunately we're not crossing that off, but I will happily take a 92 overall Josh Allen for our team. Alright, we got a left tackle. Oh my god, these stats are insane. They are literally all bright green, these stats. Six foot nine, 94 strength, 93 pass block. That's going to end up being 93. Jonathan Ogden, who's also an all Madden player, which is going to cross that off our bingo. It's going to give us the Ravens, which is an AFC North team, which we have not done yet. Jonathan Ogden also won a Super Bowl, so that crosses off our Super Bowl trophy on our bingo card. Okay, and you're probably wondering how I'm not able to see the actual cards on the screen. It's because I'm literally recording using my OBS software, and I have cover-ups. The cards that you see is actually what I'm seeing. We're one step closer to filling this thing out entirely, because in order to accomplish this bingo card, we have to fill out all nine boxes. It's not just three in a row. About halfway done. This is round number 11 of our first draft, and we're already up to an 83 overall. I'll take that. Next up, we've got a left guard, a center, and a right guard. All three offensive positions that we need for sure here. I see 92 strength and all green stats on the right guard on the right. We've got to go with this choice. It's going to end up being Zach Martin, the Dallas Cowboy. Also a redux card for our bingo card. Our next one here, all three wide receiver options. We've got some speedy guys at 90. Oh my gosh, this guy 
guy on the right again. What is with the right side option just being clearly the best? 91 catch, 91 catch in traffic. 93 spec catch. He's a little bit shorter, but we're going to go with the right side option. It's going to be a 93 AJ Brown. This is the best draft I've ever had in my entire life. Oh my gosh. Let's see. We've got three cornerbacks in our next round. Again, the right side option just looks so good. I mean, 95 jump, 92 man coverage. It just looks so much better. We're going to reveal this one. and It's a 93 to Greek Woolen. Probably one of the best cornerback cards in all of Madden right now. I will happily take that from the NFC West. We're still searching for an AFC West player. We've got a three halfback round. Look at the low catching on this right guy. It's 60. I can't take him for my team. No way. Looks like the most balanced option is probably the card on the left. 86 trucking, 88 agility, not too shabby. We're going to go with this guy on the left, and it's an 88 overall edger in James. I love the player. I hate the card to pull it like this in a draft. Two rounds left, and we're still at an 87 overall. This challenge is honestly so tough. Already got a right guard. We've got three wide receivers, and we've already got a center. Oh, no. This wide receiver does look pretty good. It looks like a better, higher overall card than Chris Godwin at 88 in the middle. So I think we have to go with the wide receiver option in the middle. It's going to be a 92 Christian Kirk. Oh my God, that's our second best wide receiver. That was definitely the right choice here. That's going to bring us up to an 88. We've got one round left. Wide receiver, left tackle, and left guard. Looking at his stats, 89 pass block is pretty good here. Let's bring this one down. It's going to be an 88 John Runyon. I don't know if this is going to get us there. Please help us jump the overall gap here. That's going to put us at an 88 overall within the first challenge. We did not complete our goal within the first challenge. We only got to an 88 overall, but thankfully we've got two more attempts to do this. And if I'm unable to complete this challenge within the three drafts that we get, I'm going to buy someone a jersey over on my Instagram. Link's in the description. Make sure you guys go follow me over on there. On to draft number two. And what I haven't told you yet is we actually get a lifeline for each failed attempt. So for one round of my choosing in draft number two, I'll get to reveal every single card before I make my pick. In hopes of getting AFC West, I'm just going to go with the Kansas City Chiefs playbook because I want it at some point, right? We've got to get an AFC West player to complete that top right part of our bingo. Starting from scratch, we almost can't go wrong. So we're kind of just looking for the highest overall card. I think it's going to be this guy in the middle. This is going to be 91 overall Nick Bosa. For our quarterback round, it looks like the most balanced quarterback option is probably going to be on the one on the right. This is definitely a pocket passer. It's going to end up being 91 overall Justin Herbert. That's a good quarterback for us. Round number five, we got a right end defensive tackle and a left end. We could go either way with this. It really doesn't matter, but I kind of like this guy on the left, the left end. Look at the strength tackling play rack. It's going to be a 92 overall Dalvin Tomlinson. All right, we'll take that from the Vikings, and we still have not gotten an AFC West player. This is insane. I'm starting to get a little nervous that I'm going to have to wear this Packers jersey into our next video. I don't want to do that. I think it's literally like burning my skin. Round number eight, wide receiver, wide receiver, or quarterback. Well, we've got to go between the wide receivers. I think the middle looks like a better option, even though it's lower speed. That's what we're going to go with here. 88 overall Jerry Rice, not a full legend. Wait a second. I'm so dumb. Oh my gosh. You guys have already probably commented, but we did pull an AFC West player. We pulled a Chargers player. We got Justin Herbert literally in the first draft. So if you've commented already, I expect you to go down and make an apology right now. That was totally my bad. We have completed that top right bingo. We only have three left at this point. A full legend, some sort of Madden cover athlete, and an MVP winner. We got a right tackle and two left guards in round number 12. We're currently at an 85 overall. We got a great chance to beat our objective here. I think the player on the right, I mean, that's a lot of green. We're going to go with him. It's going to end up being 92 Lake and Tomlinson. I'll happily take that. Can we please complete this bingo card before we get to our overall goal? I'm starting to get really nervous. Three cornerbacks in this round. This one's really obvious to me. The player on the right definitely has the best stats, and we do need another good cornerback. Thankfully, it's going to be a 92 Tracy Porter from the Saints. Give me a full legend, bro. Let me cross that one off, please. Left outside linebacker, middle linebacker, and right outside linebacker, which we already have. Let's see what this player is. 92 Luke Keekly. And that, my friends, is a full legend. Cross it off the middle of the bingo card. We just need an NFL MVP and a cover athlete. I still have not used my lifeline, but if I don't get it this round, I could carry that lifeline over to our third draft, which I would then get another lifeline for. We would have two. We got a cornerback, a right outside linebacker, and a middle linebacker. We've got three cornerbacks already. We've got a right outside linebacker. Let's go with the middle linebacker. Even the stats don't look right. This one's going to end up being an 88 Fred Warner. Oh, this is just not ideal, guys. We're up to an 88 overall. We've got two rounds left. Oh my God, we've got a great chance to complete this. We've got another left outside linebacker, a right guard, which we already have. And our last position is a right end, which we already have. I think I've got to go with the offensive lineman, assuming they can be shifted to another position. Like one of our tackles that's still both at 77 and 
78 overalls. I'm gonna go with the right guard here, praying this gets me to an 89 overall. It's gonna be an 88, Kevin Zeitler. You've got to be kidding me, dude. Please let me accomplish my goal. This is gonna put us at, we select this card. Please, I'm counting on this. Yes! 89 overall. We completed our challenge in just our second draft. We didn't even need the third, but I didn't complete our bingo. So I have to wear this vomit, gross, disgusting Aaron Rodgers jersey again in our next video. These punishments are kind of getting out of hand. And if you like this video, then you're going to love this video right here. Trust me.